back again with a fresh cut from the council as you'll all say you know what i mean front door coming out whip it straight in we'll see how easy it is i don't know i don't particularly like the fact that this is recessed right back to the internal skin uh, that doesn't fill me with confidence i prefer them when they're out on the external door but it is where it is we'll see what we come up against Smooth and easy, accessible. I'm just going to cut all the mastic off and this should come out, fly out within seconds. Just as I expected, trim around the door means it's a brick return, but it's not a nice, pretty looking brick return. It's damn ugly. Oh, God. Well, looks like I'm going to have to put some sort of a trim around the door again now, but it's not going to be a plastic one. I'll probably put a timber trim around or something. I don't know, we'll see. Put that in a nice. I've got a 25mm extender for this door just to stop it banging on the plasterboard. It's one of these strips. Now to get that on, you want to start it off down one end, clamp it, and then you should be able to knock it all the way down. If not, you're going to struggle. Now you can see the old door didn't have an extender, which is why it kept knocking onto the plaster. Now I've put an extender on. The, the old hinges used to come there on the door. On the on the frame, sorry, on the skirting. So now, that's bought it all over, and it'll open a lot wider now because before it used to trap. It won't do that no more. I think I've just said no more, no more, no more. But what a fantastic fit! Goes in perfect. No sell on this one. Door handle is as simple as just literally slotting it in. Two screws, top and bottom, and that's it. Job done. Then we're going to open this door up and put three fixings in it i'm gonna do one up here like i say i'm landing on that half brick one down by the lock and one at the bottom same both sides that's all fixed top middle and bottom let's see if it shuts turn you around Right, that shuts perfectly. So what we'll do now is we'll whip these beads out. Let's see if it locks. More to the point. We'll add some keys. Here we go. All right. There you go. Locks and shuts perfectly. Perfect, so what we'll do now is we'll go get the insert for here, take these beads out, put the insert in, toe and heel it, heel this end, toe up the top, and then that's pretty much done. All that's got to be done is sealed. Nice, easy job. And it's just the same situation as before. Two thick packers at the bottom, two white packers at the top, place it in, put a packer on the top, wedge it over, put another packer on this side, make it tight, jobs are good. On for the Winchester style. It's opaque on the outside, flowers in there, which we've done on the upstairs up there as well in the bathroom. And I think that's going to let in a lot more light down this corridor. Beautiful, lovely little pattern of a door that is. And while we're at it, let me just uh, put something to bed. All you blokes out there who keep saying on about, are oh, your fens are registered, are oh, you going to get building control, sign it off, blah, 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 blah. I've got all the video evidence. For fitting these windows and doors right now i'm pretty sure that if i go to building control they'll pass them straight away and when you keep going on about fenza listen this is what i've seen in not the site i'm on but i've seen on other sites where lads come fit windows take a one inch screw out of a window former that's just just a brace on it take a one inch screw and stick that straight through a strap for a window into a thermalite block. And these boys are getting passed off. So don't anybody tell me about your Nibi Fenza to fit windows properly. Because it's an absolute load of rubbish. It's a piece of paper. The only person who knows if you've fitted something, doors and windows properly with proper fixings and everything, is you. And if you get them inspected properly, take the screw out, see if there's anything in there. So you keep oil warriors out there, keep on worrying. I'm not interested. 
you don't need a ticket to put windows and doors in like I say you can just get them passed off later date and I've got all my evidence sling it Right, these these panels come oversized for some reason. So we've had to cut off, say, 100 mil. And I've cut it off the bottom because I'm not having a post box because I've got one on the outside because of the dogs. So I've cut it off the bottom. Here we go. Now, there is a plastic film on this. You have to pull this off. You can't see it when you're just looking at it. But there is one there. Pull it off and then fit the door panel. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Keep it nice and easy, boys and girls.